So, before I even get into this vlog, let me tell y'all, packing up and getting ready to go to base feels like it's 2006, I'm 18 again, and I'm getting ready to move into my dorm at Sam Houston State University. Lord help me. <laughs> Hey everybody, so took a few days just to relax and spend some time with family and some friends and now I'm just sitting around waiting for a crew planning to send me my schedule. Um, our entire class was supposed to get our schedules yesterday, yesterday was Friday and only 37 people so far have received their schedule so I spent a lot of time yesterday contacting um, in-flight leads and things like that to kind of see what's going on with our schedules. Long story short, they JBU still hasn't cleared everybody, so until they clear everybody, they won't make our schedule. So basically, I get another day off because technically I was supposed to be leaving today to get to JFK um, to start working tomorrow. So I'm still home. I don't want to leave yet until it's like literally time for me to go. Um, but I've just been shopping, shopping, shopping since I got back home, which is insane, but mostly just for stuff that I need for the crash pad. Like, I didn't even consider having to buy sheets and towels and all of that stuff. Literally, that just popped up in my head this morning. I was like, oh my God, what am I going to sleep on, you know? So, I'll just show y'all what I bought. Um... I've been trying to do the whole bargain shopping thing, which is really hard for me because, well, it's not hard, but I like nice quality things. I'm that girl. Like, if I can find it at a discounted price, great, but I need it to be of quality because I, I don't want to keep buying things over and over and over again. Like, that's just silly to me. So, I took my mother's advice and I went to, oh, I'm sorry, Denver, I'm kicking my dog. Um took my mom's advice and I went to some of her favorite stores that have a little bit of everything but yeah so I went to Ross everybody should know what a Ross is and I found a nice twin comforter set and this was only $24.99 so it has a pillow sham in there it has a comforter and it also has the full sheet set with the flat sheet the fitted sheet and the standard pillowcase so I was really happy about that because everything else that I was looking at was like $40, $50. Uh, so that's a good price. And I felt it. It feels, you know, durable, sleepable. It's not what I got at home, but it'll work. Um, so then, of course, I had to buy a new pillow to go with it. This was $5 from Big Lots. Um, thanks to a girl that I went to training with. Ashley, my AK, my plane mate. She was like, go to Big Lots. And I never shopped there, but I went in there and found exactly what I needed. Um, and then I decided just to buy like one set of towels. Even though I'll need more than that, I have to keep in mind that I have to pack all of this stuff and take it with me. So I just bought a set of um, one towel and I like the big ones that wrap like all around your body like and can do like another wrap. That's what I like. So I got one of those. Um, a, uh, one of the little smaller ones. I can't, you know, just a regular towel, face, face towel or something I guess they're called. And then I also got like a, a pack of washcloths as well. So those I can take with me and then when I actually get to New York, I'll just go back to the store and buy more but I didn't want to pack a whole bunch and who knows what time I'll get there so if it's at night I just need to have one with me already um so that's all I really bought for the actual crash pad itself and then the last day of training my black shoes that I had that were going to be my uniform shoes the tips broke on them so I bought some new shoes <laughs> actually saw these shoes on the January 1st sale at Dillard's. If y'all have a Dillard's where you live, go to that sale. Every January 1st, they have the best sale. So, they're Michael Kors. They're called the Michael Kors Bayville Loafer Patent Leather. I don't know. It's probably going to be upside down. But anyways, I saw these that day. 
And I just knew in my heart that I was going to be a flight attendant this year. So I wanted to buy them, but they were not on sale then. So I've been watching them ever since. And literally, I had to hunt these shoes down, y'all. Had to hunt them down. Macy's, Dillard's was completely sold out. Macy's only had like one nine and a half left online. No more in store. And I was going to order it from Macy's, but I wasn't going to get it in time. Then I went on Amazon. Amazon is everything. And a lady had one pair left in my size. And I got it overnighted. So this is them. And they're super comfortable. So it's a three inch heel. That's the max that we can have. And look, they're patent leather. We can wear patent leather shoes. A lot of airlines can't, but we can. Um, and it's just like a little loafer style. So, and it's very comfortable. That's the reason why I fell in love with this shoe when I saw them that first day at Dillard's. I tried them on and the comfort was just unbelievable. So these are going to be my in-flight shoes. Y'all like them? Cute, right? Um, and then I just bought some clothes from Zara because <laughs> Zara is my favorite clothing store. One, because it's super fashionable. Two, because the prices are just right. Like, they're not too cheap. They're not overly expensive. And the quality is great. Um, so, yeah. That's really what I've been doing. Um, the other night, I did go see um, Girls Trip with my friend. She was in town from Dallas. So, we went and saw that movie's hilarious. If you haven't seen it, go see it. Um, I'll probably go hang out with my best friend tonight and then hopefully by Monday I should have my schedule because I, I guess they're not working this weekend um, so oh, that means I'll get to go to church tomorrow I've missed going to church um, I'm a church girl so yeah that's it um, I'll see y'all in New York so I finally made it to New York I don't think I told y'all but this whole crash pad thing so I found a crash pad, then got rid of that crash pad, and then found another crash pad, and then we were cool until like two days ago. <laughs> we found a different crash pad, but that won't be ready until September. So I'm staying with my uncle. He lives like literally five minutes away from the airport, which is a blessing. But it's just, it's a big difference than what I'm used to at home. So that's where I am right now. That's where I'll be for this month. Um, I'm happy I'm not complaining. It's family. It's free because, like, I keep telling y'all, we need every single penny as reserve flight attendants, first year flight attendants, whatever. We don't make a lot of money. But I have airport standby my first shift as a flight attendant, shift or whatever you want to call it, tomorrow from 8 to 2. Um, to be honest, I'm not really wanting to get a trip because I still need to get like settled in and I didn't get to go grocery shopping so I won't have any food with me if I do get a trip so hopefully I just sit there tomorrow and um, kind of learn more about the terminal meet people in the crew lounge and get everything handled that I need to get and then I'll be all game for a trip on Tuesday but I will talk to y'all tomorrow good night Any word? Oh, she was so she got to Houston. No, she's going to California. What? They've been there for her to San Jose. I'll be flipping out if they see you in San Jose right now. What time? I'm sorry. <laughs> this fool. <laughs> <sighs> made it to the hotel y'all what a long day what a long flight so <laughs> I totally jinxed myself I said that I didn't want a trip I just got to New York at midnight basically midnight Monday um, and then I had airport standby at 8 a.m. and an hour later my phone rings and it's crew services and I got a three-day trip, y'all. And I'm number one. Number one meaning um, F1, flight attendant position one, which here at our company, 
you kind of have a little bit more responsibility, but it's not like super big of a deal. Um, but we do get paid more doing the F1 position, which is like totally the scariest thing because you're like, oh my God, oh my God, everybody like dreads their first trip of being an F1 and I rocked it out, y'all. I mean, the crew that I worked with, um, I was on A320, so it was three of us. Um, the guy was eight years seniority, the other girls two years seniority. Super nice, super sweet. They, um... They definitely helped me out the entire way. So appreciative to them. Um, and it was, I mean, it was, it was a really good experience to be my first trip. I'm, I'm just, I'm still so happy and thankful that this is the airline that I joined because who knows, you know, it could have been, it could have been way worse. <laughs> it could have been so bad. Um, I definitely didn't do everything right, but I didn't do anything just horribly wrong either. So the trip was from JFK, left at 11, 11, 1120, and then we did a transcon to Vegas, and that was the calmest Vegas flight that I've ever been on. I've been to Vegas personally a few times, and on a Vegas flight, it's always been so turnt, like people are, you know, crazy and drinking and loud and having fun. And this flight was so chill. Everybody was so relaxed. Like, I mean, it was a full flight pretty much, 148 people out of 150. So, you know, we worked a little bit. Um, it was a five hour flight though. So of course we still had a little downtime. Um, pilots got us there a little earlier than expected. Um, but they were nice. It was good. Um, then we did Vegas to Long Beach, which was a 42 minute flight. That's an express flight. Um, we had to crank that one out. That was definitely a full flight, 150 out of 150. Um, we had no downtime the whole 42 minutes. Uh, did the, the, the safety demo, did drink service, did snacks, picked up trash. By the time we finished those three things, we were um, landing. So that kind of wore me out. I was like, whoa, I'm glad this day is almost over. And then we did Long Beach to now I am in San Jose, California, which is so crazy because I was wanting a trip here really, really bad. Um, I have a friend here that I hadn't seen. I haven't seen in a few months so I was like oh it'd be great to get a trip to San Jose um, come see my friend and literally the crew gods just called <laughs> and they were like go to San Jose and you got a layover and I was like heck yes so I'm here now um, you know this whole time change thing it's a three hour difference from New York so uh, I took my watch off already. I don't even know what time it is. I think it's about 7 p.m. or something here right now. So, like, almost 10 p.m. in New York, or maybe it's 6-ish here. I don't know. But it's a time difference, and I'm honestly tired. Um, but I do want to see my friends, so I'm going to go hang out a little bit tonight, probably have some dinner or something. Um, and then we have a shuttle pickup at 5.20 in the morning. But the best part of this trip is have the shuttle pick up tomorrow. I believe we work from here back to Long Beach and then we deadhead to Vegas. And then I have a 23 hour layover in Vegas tomorrow. Woo! That I'm super excited about. Um, and then, then we, um, Wednesday, actually it's a red eye flight. So Vegas at night will leave probably around 11 p.m. almost midnight. And then deadhead, uh, not deadhead, then I'll work the flight back to JFK. And then that'll be it for Wednesday. And then technically, again, I'm on call Thursday. So we'll see if they use me again or not. And then I have Friday and Saturday off. So that's what this week is looking like. Um, I'm just still really in awe that I am finally here. Like, I'm finally here. <laughs> It's just amazing. Like, I was standing there as the F1, we stand there at the boarding door and greet the people. And I just, the entire time, each three times that we were boarding and deplaning, and I was standing up there, 
all I kept thinking about was how many times I boarded a flight and I would just think to myself, oh, I want to do that one day. Like, oh, I think I'm getting a little emotional. <laughs> Such a cry baby sometimes. Um, woo. <laughs> God is good. That's, you know, that's, that's really it. Um, I'm just happy. Like, I'm tired because <laughs> this was a long day, but I'm just happy that I'm here. You know, it took, it took a while, <laughs> a few years, like seven years to finally get to this point and be in this position and all of that. Um, training was worth it. The weight was worth it. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. So, yeah, I'm going to get out of this uniform, wind down a little bit, call my friend, meet up, and have some fun. So, I will see you all in the morning. Bye. This is where it all began. Long Beach, California. This is where I came to do my interview for my airline that I'm with now. And I fell in love with this airport. Like, I would love to be based here just for the palm trees and the pretty sun and the pretty sky. They have the cutest little restaurants. I was just eating here at Boathouse on the bay. Well rested, just finished a, a leg from, where was I? San Jose, now to Long Beach, and then we're gonna deadhead to Vegas and then I'm gonna party. So it is Tuesday and I am in Las Vegas. It is 11.57 a.m. and I get almost 24 hours here to frolic around the strip in Vegas and have some fun. Um, so let's see, what did today consist of? Woke up this morning, caught the 5.20 a.m. shuttle to the airport, worked a leg, which was, oh my God, probably the easiest flight I'll ever work in my career. Um, it was only 19 people on the plane this morning from San Jose, California to Long Beach, California. Quick trip, 50 minutes. And then we deadheaded. Deadheading means um, we're not working the trip. It's basically like a, a taxi to our next de destination. So we sit in the regular cabin seats as crew members. Um, yeah, that's just basically it. So we dead headed to Vegas and now I'm here. So we're, me and the crew are gonna wind down a little bit. One of the girls actually lives here so she's gonna go home and take care of some things and me and the other guy are gonna go out to the strip and get some food. There's some really good happy hours that he was telling me about. So I'm excited about that. I might be getting some more. So my first lesson learned on my first trip is that I need to buy comfortable walking shoes. Do y'all see that? All them steps I walked yesterday in Vegas. So, so now my feet are aching. I wanted to get up this morning and go to Hash House of Go Go in the Link Hotel. They have the best food there. Um, but I couldn't even do it. I just laid here in bed like a little dead person. <laughs> and I just went downstairs and got some of the little um, buffet breakfast that they had, which was good enough. So, lesson learned. Bring comfortable walking shoes. And I had on sandals, but <sighs> I just tore my feet up. And I think it also has to do with, you know, swelling from the plane. My feet were a little swollen from being on the plane and blah, blah. So I'm going to invest in some compression hosiery and socks and things like that. So my little toes won't be getting all fat and funky looking. Um, but this is about to be the end of my first trip, y'all. We are about to head to the airport and do this for, it's about a four hour flight from Vegas to New York, maybe five, just depending on weather. Um, and that's it. It's been fun. It's been exciting. My crew was awesome. I can't wait for the next one. Oh yeah. And I'm going grocery shopping as soon as I get back to New York so I can pack a lunch because I spent too much money on food. <laughs> Bye. See y'all next time.